In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on September 2, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Buffalo vs. Wisconsin It's a non-conference matchup on the gridiron as a member of the Mid-American Conference travels to battle a member of the Big Ten in the Badger State. The Buffalo Bulls are on the road as they make the trip to take on the number 19 Wisconsin Badgers Saturday afternoon. Buffalo finished the 2022 season with a 7-6 record and earned a third bowl victory in the last four years as they edged Georgia Southern in the Camellia Bowl. Wisconsin posted an identical 7-6 record in 2022, capped with a 24-6 17 victory over Oklahoma State in the guaranteed rate bowl to end their campaign on a positive note. In the lone previous meeting between the teams as football bowl division opponents, Wisconsin earned a 35-3 victory at home back on November 18, 2006. Luke Fickle's style of offense during his time at Ohio State in Cincinnati was always to score as many points as possible. That seems like a dumb sentence, but he very rarely wanted to control the clock. He wanted to boat race teams by dominating in the offensive sector. At Wisconsin, he has a quarterback in Mordecai, who did that for two years with SMU. Couple those two with Wisconsin's baller runner back in Allen gives the Badgers a really solid team that will be contending for the Big Ten West this year. The team's defense returns in Jongmeta, who was one of the best linebackers in the conference. He is going to turn some heads in this game as he gets into the Bulls' backfield. Both teams have some changes to work through in the early going of this season as they try to get up to speed before conference play starts. Buffalo has to find some playmakers in the passing game to help Snyder move the ball through the air. Meanwhile, Wisconsin is overhauling their offensive system as they turn to Longo to run a more wide-open attack that hasn't been seen in Madison for a long time. The Badgers have weapons in the passing game, a capable quarterback in Mordecai, and a good one-to-two punch in the run game. Wisconsin also has been tough defensively and has home field in their favor here. The Bulls will be good for the Mid-American Conference. They will contend in the conference and make a run at the conference championship in Detroit. However, the environment along with the added juice of a new coaching staff will make it hard to upset them. Snyder did throw eight interceptions last year and with a brand new receiving corp, cohesion is going to be tough to find on Saturday. So the Wisconsin Badgers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Massachusetts vs. Auburn The University of Massachusetts Minutemen started their 2023 campaign with a bang a week ago, and now they will do battle with the Auburn Tigers, who will look to do the same at home this week. Both teams come into the new season with low expectations due to a major lack of depth throughout each roster. And while the Southeastern Conference's Tigers come in as a major favorite, nothing is given at the top level. It's safe to say that a Massachusetts win would come as a major upset. UMass heads out on the road for the second time in a week, this time to the state of Alabama where the Auburn Tigers await. It will be the opener for Auburn and the beginning of the Hugh Freeze era. Hopes are high for the Tigers this year, but there are still a lot of unknowns. The Minutemen, on the other hand, will be aided by having had a week zero game and having an opportunity to work out some kinks. The biggest improvements for college football teams come between the first game and the second one, and it is a huge advantage for UMass that they have already played a game. Let's start with Auburn. Freeze is known for his offense, but one of the biggest question marks for the Tigers is what they have at quarterback. They definitely have a solid group of running backs, though, along with a veteran offensive line, so I expect them to lean on the run early in the season. There is not much doubt that the Tigers will win this game. The question is whether they can do it decisively and over this big spread. UMass will also look to run the ball. Last week, in a game they led most of the way, the Minutemen attempted only 17 passes. Their quarterback, Taysen Famachan, also led the team in rushing attempts and rushing yards. I'm not sure that approach to offense is going to work against a Southeaster Conference caliber defense. What it might do, however, is bleed the clock enough that this game stays lower in score than one might expect. 
Auburn has the talent to blow a game open like this, but it's the first game of the season. Auburn is breaking in a new quarterback, has a new coaching staff, and we usually see sluggish performances in spots like this. UMass is coming off a big upset win last week and has the benefit of getting a game under its belt. This is just the fifth time since 2019 Auburn has been a favorite of 35 or more points. There's also a possible look-ahead spot here with a trip to Cal on deck next week. This game opened at minus 39, and Sharp Money has already run it down to minus 35. Lots of points, so the UMass Minutemen to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Minutemen scored 41 points in their first game thanks to an impressive display on the ground. They are facing a different level of competition this week, and even though the Tigers struggled against the run last season, they will do a better job defending it this year and won't give up more than 20 points in this game. The Tigers averaged 23 points per game last season and 22 points points per game at home. They had a dominant running game that will be just as good as it was last season and an improved passing attack. The Minutemen couldn't stop the run or pass in their first game and gave up 30 points in the win. The over for this matchup is set at 53, but given the strength of both these teams on the offensive end, that should be topped easily, with the over sitting at 7-3 in the past 10 games for the Tigers. For UMass, they have allowed 35 or more points in 5 of their past 7 games, while putting up 41 last week against New Mexico State. And for the Tigers, they have scored 39 or more in 4 of their past 5 games, so if both offenses get rolling early, expect plenty of points to be put up in this one. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Nevada vs. Southern California The USC Trojans play host to the Nevada Wolfpack in a non-conference tilt on Saturday night from United Airlines Field at the Los Angeles Coliseum. The Wolfpack hit the road for the season opener, looking to spring what would be one of the weekend's biggest upsets. On the other side, the Trojans ran away with a win in their opener last week and anything but a 2-0 start would be a massive disappointment. These two haven't faced off in a number of years but still won't want to be one for college football fans to miss out on. Last week, USC's defense brought them down to not of them cover their 31-point spread against San Jose State. Lincoln Riley is one of the best coaches in the country and I expect that he will make coaching adjustments to address the flaws that their defense showed last week and this week they'll be facing an easier test against one of the worst defense teams in the country last year. The Trojans offense with Caleb Williams at the helm is electric and I expect that they throw all over Nevada just as they did last week against the Spartans. The Nevada Wolfpack are a mess from a roster standpoint and have questions on their coaching staff as well. It's hard to get behind Nevada until it shows some sort of progress. The USC Trojans look great offensively in their season opener, and things will only get better as some of the young guys get more reps. This is a massive line, and actually the biggest favorite USC has been since 2015. Still, the talent gap is large in this spot, and I question if Nevada has the offensive horses to keep up. Nevada was horrible defensively last season and I don't expect a whole lot more from them this year. So the Southern California Trojans to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. USC matchups tend to lead to great spots to win on overs. The Trojans offense, led by the Heisman winner, Caleb Williams is electric. Last week they scored 56 points against San Diego State, with Williams throwing for 278 yards with four touchdowns. I expect that offense to continue to roll against an even easier test in Nevada this week. To contribute to the total here easily hitting the over this week, USC showed a lot of flaws in their defense last week. Although I think they make the adjustments to not give up 28 points like they did last week, I don't expect a perfect game from Lincoln Riley's defense. This game should easily hit the over, with USC possibly going over the 66 and a half points by themselves. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.